My name is Ayan and welcome to Roots TV. Roots TV is passionate about bringing you stories of unsung heroes and today's one such hero is Rehanity. Hello Rehanity. Hello. Uh, I want to put you on the spot. Would you like to do a poem for me? Uh, I wouldn't but <laughs> just joking. I can do a short one from my book. Sure. Okay. sure. Uh, this poem is one I wrote a few years ago mm -hmm. uh, and it was just a, a time where just trying to work out I guess feelings and emotions in that, mo in that moment so it goes like this I love you without condition nor reason through turbulence and calm in every season even as I try to walk away still through the nights and through the days while never knowing to what end just trusting in the one to whom we all depend to guide me further around this bend and answer these silent prayers that i send mashallah that was amazing so you've proven to us that you're an amazing poet a teacher tell us more about rehanity okay well i um, someone who my friends describe as an onion because when you learn about me mm -hmm. the more you learn about me you l realize that I have many layers to myself and my personality and my interests yeah. so I guess in terms of my career that it's a reflection of how many layers I am mm -hmm. when I graduated from UWA I had done a teaching degree so I actually started out doing high school teaching so I was a maths and science teacher okay so I did that for a year uh, but at the time it was a challenging time for myself in terms of health and I guess being in a school that had uh, that was kind of newer and not, not having as much structure in place it put a lot of pressure on myself as a fresh graduate and caused a bit of stress and it because it affected my health yeah. uh, I've always been the believer to really listen to uh, myself and listen to what my body's telling me and my body was telling me that I needed a break so yeah. so I decided at that time to take a break from teaching mm -hmm. uh, but life uh, took me in a different direction after that so I actually was planning to teach uh, in Dubai and was planning to go to Dubai after my health became better mm. uh, and I was just looking for a, just a part-time job and I stumbled, stumbled, stumbled across a job at the gallery as a youth worker and applied and fell in love with my job and found myself working as a youth worker with young people from refugee backgrounds for about four years so Amazing. that became the next stage in my career and uh, after that again things started to change and and so I sort of felt like you know it was probably a time to go to that next step and and decided to really start my own thing and writing being one of my passions, decided to really pursue that. And that's when I released my, my first book. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing now, uh, one of my passions besides writing is also business. So I'm actually working in the business team at the Apple Store. So to learn more about that space as, as well as working on my own business outside of work. Mm -hmm. So yes. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a lot on your plate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, coming back to your poems, how do you think uh, urban poetry or poetry uh, influences the issues of young people today? Well, actually, shortly after I actually uh, finished my contract as a youth worker, mm -hmm. I was still involved in the community. And actually, that's how I met one of the founders of Roots TV, yeah. Elmi, mm -hmm. uh, was actually through a poetry project where we actually were targeting young people from you know, refugee backgrounds in particular, but basically providing that platform where they could express what they were going through. Mm -hmm. So I've seen firsthand what writing and, and poetry is and how much it, how, how much it means to people. And, and hey, it's one of the reasons why I actually wrote my book mm -hmm. was I've gone through a lot of challenges in life and, and I think that's something that's just a part of life that we all go through. And, 
I think that it's really important that we find an outlet for those mm. challenges. And for me, that outlet was actually writing. Yeah. So my poetry, you know, some of it is quite sad, <laughs> uh, just expressing what I was going through in those moments. Mm -hmm. But my book describes my personal journey as well, mm. you know, from being a teenager and growing up and, and I guess rediscovering my faith and that becoming a bigger part of me. Yeah. And so you'll find in my poetry that even though I've gone through these challenges that I always have hope and it's been my faith that's sort of given me that confidence to keep moving forward mm -hmm. and, and uh, yeah and just embrace the lessons that every step we you know have that we go through. Much that's good. <laughs>